After two years of using Obsidian and taking over 5800 notes, I'm restarting my Obsidian Vault. That's two years worth of periodic notes and personal reflections. That's thousands of highlights and insights from all the books, articles, and videos I've consumed. All just archived. But for what? Why am I choosing to start over when I had a fully functioning system that I used? Well, I have a confession to make. The truth is, I'm just not that happy with my notes. When I first started using Obsidian, I would actively take conceptual and connected notes from the content I've consumed, adding my own personal reflections and applying what I learned in my weekly and daily reviews. But for the past few months, I've been lazy with my note-taking practices. I've been collecting highlights more than I have been connecting notes or doing my own thinking. And at first, I thought it was okay. I would always tell myself that I'm actually being efficient by not processing all my inputs and highlights, since, you know, I could always go back and revisit them once I really needed them. But that mindset only caused more harm than good. It formed a mountainous backlog of notes filled with extracted highlights of other people's thinking and little of my own. I didn't bother to vividly capture and explore my personal reflections or realizations, which is arguably the most important part of personal knowledge management. Like, it's literally in the name. And so, from having a vault full of other people's ideas and little of my own, it's been deteriorating my capacity for critical thinking and the introspection I highly admire about myself. Seeing how I want to make the switch to more intrinsically driven content creation like my initial videos, having a strong sense of self is going to be more important than ever. Next, not processing my notes kept all the information in the sources I found them from, which defeats the purpose of the Zellokasten method. It prevented my knowledge from growing over time as I learned from different topics and sources. Instead, I just had fragments of ideas scattered across different input notes and had no compounding effect where the ideas built on top of each other to create something new, something beautiful. So yeah, it feels kind of disappointing knowing that this all could have been preventable if I just put in the consistent effort to maintain my vault. My old notes at the start of my obsidian journey, where I did take insightful conceptual notes, might not make it into this new vault and will be treated as a diary to look back upon my previous self's thoughts. And my good friend Aiden was able to put this into words better than I could. One thing that particularly struck me is how you feel that you have been using a skeleton of the system that your past self created. You still have been using Obsidian, creating videos, and journaling, but not with the same energy as you used to. But now that's changing. It's awesome seeing you reignite the flame you had when you first started your journey all that time ago. Instead of mourn over my losses, I need to make the most of this fresh start and work towards building a second brain that will genuinely last a lifetime. These past two years have given me time to experiment and find out how I can use personal knowledge management towards my main pursuit of self-actualization. I have a chance to take the best of what I've learned to create the system that works best for me. And you'll be able to join me on this journey. So what is my new plan going to look like? A problem with personal knowledge management tutorials, or at least for mine, is the lack of in-depth raw examples not made just for the camera. For my most recent videos, I've just been sharing all these shiny new objects without showing an in-depth implementation into my system. And in reality, I don't mind for going a bit of privacy so I can share majority of what I take notes on, which can maybe help people with their own. Which leads me into publishing my notes online. This new vault will have publishing in mind from the start. You'll be able to see my own real-life examples on how I use the different types of notes in my vault, like projects, areas, and maps of content. You'll be able to observe my note-taking process, starting from inputs into conceptual notes into output notes. For future videos where I end up learning something new, I can share links to the related areas within my note for further reading and exploration. And by doing this, I'll also be able to incorporate the power of evergreen content. 
My newsletters and videos can continue to grow outside of their mold when published and will connect with already existing or future nodes in my vault. But instead of using Obsidian Publish, I'm going to be using the Digital Garden plugin since it also renders data view queries, an indispensable part of my vault. Anyways, instead of starting completely from scratch, I'll be using a fresh copy of the Ultimate Starter Vault to spend less time setting things up and more time taking notes. With so many notes and constant evolutions in my previous vault, it was difficult to update it to use the new structures and workflows, but now, with a bit of customization, I've been able to set up support for all types of notes in my life, like YouTube videos, my weekly newsletter, and of course, animes I watch. Next, to ensure my vault has more of my own thoughts and highlights, I'm going to make note making and writing a consistent daily habit. And last but not least, I'm creating my own philosophy for personal knowledge management. I already do have my own obsidian setup through the structure of the ultimate starter vault, but this philosophy can give people more examples on highly opinionated mindsets, methods, and tools. If you want to learn more about this philosophy, you can find it constantly evolving on my published notes. I'll probably have it as one of my areas or some link in the homepage. So yeah, I'm really excited for this next stage in my second brain journey. Lately I've sucked at sharing what I've been up to via YouTube, so if you care at all and want to maybe a glimpse into my personal life, feel free to join my freakly, my freakly, free weekly newsletter. <laughs> so yeah, this has been John Maverick, stay mindful.